your computer fan has a Molex connector. And I couldn't find a good video online about how to assemble these. So I'm going to show up close. This is the male side and this is the female side. And ordinarily for PC cases, the power is delivered um, through the mail. This is why it has an enclosure. Normally female offers power. So, and then a fan, if it does not have this pigtail with two options, then the fan will just have this to receive the power. I believe this is a Molex type KK and I can confirm the pitch and the size, the gauge will match with the DuPont I'm just doing this to get a focus on the front. DuPont 2.54 millimeter pitch. And typical size of the wire is 28 gauge. They get smaller sometimes. This is smaller than 28. This is approximately 28. Today I need to supply power using this connector, um, but I don't have much to work with on the, the wires that are the full 28 gauge and I don't want to borrow these wires because I'm going to connect fans in series and I want to carry the full amperage of the 28 gauge wire. So I'll show you how to remove them. Remove the pins so you can work with the wires. This is the terminal in my hand and there's one feature on the terminal that retains it in the housing. That's this tab here. It almost is small enough to call it a burr. And when you want to pull the wire out, those burrs, those tabs, are protruding enough they interfere with the plastic. So I want to remove, let's start with this one. I changed my mind. This is the one I'll start with. I'm going to hold this with the clamping lock, and then I'll use a blade to get a precise tip and push down on that tab. Oh, well it slipped out of my helping hands, but I got it. So here you go. It's that easy. Um, it's very likely you'll over compress this tab if you're doing this for the first time. So once you get it out of the housing, if you want to reuse the terminal, then get something in there and lift it just a little bit so that it can still act as a retainer once you've reinserted it. And don't forget the orientation is critical. You can't insert this upside down. It probably would insert, but it would not be retained. If we compare this terminal to the DuPont, you'll probably find that there's more contact area and it's capable of handling a little bit more current, even though the, the individual pins can fit together. So if you're going to use a full 1000 milliamps or whatever this uh, connector is rated for, then I would recommend don't substitute the DuPont. And if you're just carrying signals, communication and so forth, or if you're running one fan, then feel free to just inter interconnect the, the DuPont. Here's how it looks if you were to interconnect a DuPont uh, connector with, say, the male Molex. And they do fit. They are snug enough to carry signals. Okay? And you're not going to have the locking mechanism that the housing offers and you're not going to have the alignment to prevent you from connecting it inverted. So pay attention to that. The reason DuPont is even discussed in this video is millions, millions of these PCBs and Arduino devices and sensors that are off the shelf are using that standard. So it, uh, it can be very convenient to quickly test things out using 
some uh, circuit that you made yourself, soldered yourself, oof, and the Molex KK. All right, hope that helps.